Can you, as a normal participant in a YAL workflow case, manually pick the person who will execute the next work item? The answer is yes, if you are the boss. Hi, my name is Andreas Hense and I do videos on business process automation. This video is part of a series of videos on the business process management system YAL. Today, I'll show you how to create a team in YAL. The next tutorial will be about delegating work items to members of a team. In this video, I'll do two things. First, I'll show you the structure of the team and then I'll show you how to create it in the control center. So let's first look at the structure of the team. The team is the approving team. And there are three participants in the team. First one is Ron, second one is Rosa, and the third one is Ray. All of them also have the role approver. And then Ron is the boss, so Rosa reports to. and Ray reports to. That's the structure. Okay, now we are in the control center and I'll show you how to set up the team. Here we have the roles and the approver role has three members, Rosa Main, Ray Rees and Ron Roddenberry, as we have said before. And we also need to look at the org groups. So the first thing what we, we need to create is the approving team. This has been done already here. And by the way, you can find the file to upload in the YAW system in the supplementary material. There's a link in the description below. And you can see here that the group type of the approving team is effect team. And it doesn't belong to any other team, and that's all. And then we have the positions. And we need the positions to form the hierarchy in the team. So we have three positions, Approver 1, Approver 2, and the Approver Boss. And if you look at the Approver 1, you can see that the Approver 1 reports to the Approver Boss, Approver 2 as well, and the Approver Boss doesn't report to anyone. So this is for the structure. Subscribe to this channel if you want to see what comes next.